Scound from Rebound Horsemanship. I got asked a question the other day. Um, they they saw my saddle. They saw my saddle and they said, "What are those things hanging off of your stirrups?" And these are called taps or tapaderos. Uh, an easy answer would be, man, because they look cool because they're punchy. There are some real world benefits and reasons why we use taps. One thing is they, is they weigh a lot. So they weight your stirrups. They keep your stirrups where they need to be. Keep your stirrups down. When I fly places, I have to take them off of my saddle and put them in my ruck because I'm overweight if I fly with them attached to my saddle. So they do, they do weigh quite a bit. Traditionally, they're about 26, 25 inches long. I traded an old Riata for these. And when I got them, they were about that long. They were about that long. So they were awfully long. And if I was riding a short horse and he was leaning in a turn, well, the tips of the, <laughs> the tips of the taps would drag. I'm a very tall guy, long legs. So I cut them down, uh, added these little rivets to hold this tooled piece of leather onto it. But they add weight to your stirrup. Um, starting young colts, I certainly put it on young colts that I'm starting. It just gives them, gives them something else to get used to. Um, when they're moving around at Liberty in the round pen or online doing groundwork, you know, these, these taps are flapping, they're making noise, so it gives the horse something else to get used to, helps them gain, gain some confidence. Your foot won't go through it. Um, you can still get hung up in them, but your foot won't go through the stirrup. Many years ago, when I was much younger, I was starting a colt, and I didn't have taps on my saddle, and my foot did go through the stirrup, and I got hung up on the left side. Horse was running around the round pin, and I'd slam into the round pin post, and then I'd go back underneath the horse's legs, and then I'd slam up against the round pen post, and then I'd go back up underneath the horse's legs. So if these prevent me from getting hung up again, that's great, because that's one experience that I don't want to do again. Learned my lesson there. Um, when it's raining outside, keeps your feet dry. It's raining today, so my boots stay nice and dry. When it's hot outside, for personal experience, your feet can get hot. Sun beating down on your feet keeps your feet cool. They're loose at the end to make noise. So if I'm riding a horse and say this a horse isn't yielding their shoulders, well, I can reach my foot forward and I can make that noise on a shoulder. It doesn't make any, any pain. It's more of a noise to kind of scare them over, scare them off of your leg with that noise. When you're working cattle, just a little flick of your leg and those flaps moving can cause a cow add enough pressure to turn a cow especially if you're working in an alley and doing some kind of sorting on them. Just flip your, flip your taps a little bit and it'll spook them to go the other way. So those are some things that I like about taps and, and some of the reasons why we have them. Uh, helps your horse gain confidence, can help get a horse off of your leg, can help direct cattle, put a little bit of pressure to help turn a cow. And then, uh, you know, like I said, keeps your feet dry, keeps your feet cool, keep the sun off them, and they look pretty cool. So those are taps, tapaderos is the full name, commonly, commonly referred to as taps. So that's what they are, and that's what I use them for. And they protect your feet in the brush. If you're riding through the brushy country, it keeps your feet protected from the brush and the briars and stuff like that. So a little bit of tidbit information about taps. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later.